Hey there, geeks! Adam here, coming at you with an impromptu haul video from uh, a hotel bathroom. Why? Well, where else are you going to find some peace and quiet when you're on vacation for the 4th of July? I hope you're enjoying your fireworks. I found some exciting stuff at a comic book shop. Wanted to share it with you, so here we go. First up, because it was the 4th of July, of course, the Stars and Stripes caught my eye there, and it just cracked me up. These issues of Pitt, I did not know that they went with this full-on... Uh, look at the american flag as part of the logo but i mean dale keown is canadian so why was he so committed to this you know very patriotic look for another country i don't know i'll have to ask him someday uh, but that was pretty neat to find next up here though of course i found some wizard related stuff a zero issue of avengers which came packed in with an issue along with a zero issue of thunderbolts very connected to marvel at this time but also this uh, Rising Stars comic, which I heard some people said was actually pretty good. They were disappointed when it was canceled. Uh, but check this out. A wizard half issue of Divine Right, which may be not so exciting for people, but I've definitely wanted to find out what it was all about. Had the certificate of authenticity, so that was great to find. Now next here, though, I really loved these Just Imagine Stan Lee books, but apparently there were so many I didn't know existed. So this Aquaman one is pretty fascinating. He actually has two different covers here look at that yes yeah, so that's some great art that looks like it might have been from fathom you know <laughs> get michael turner in there uh this one is one i also don't remember hearing about but i did recently see it in wizard but superman forever this lenticular cover by alex ross but it's really not working super well uh but if you're a fan of this one tell me i mean it's super thick i mean it's a major story there so i'm excited to read it uh, next here, though, speaking of Superman, The Darkness? Yeah, so uh, it's kind of amazing to think of how many uh, crossovers there were between The Darkness and Witchblade and all these top cow characters, you know, with DC and Marvel, really everybody uh, in the 90s. Now, this was really special to me. I had this as a kid. If you've listened to the podcast, you know I'm a huge fan of the Giver. It's the only manga or anime that matters to me. So it somehow it got lost from my collection over the years, but now I have it again. That was awesome. Uh, another comic I haven't read before, but we've been talking a lot about on the show, is Dawn. And so I'm excited to find out what Dawn is really about. As I understand it, she's maybe not the focus of the comics, but just more of a catalyst for some adventure. Uh, another thing that was mentioned recently was Brass. And I found the first two issues at another comic store, and now I have this one. So I'm excited to kind of finish the adventure off there. The art was pretty fantastic. Also, DV8. Now, I found out as I was going through that there were a ton of variant covers for the first few issues of this. I didn't realize that was a thing, uh, but I just wanted to grab a few more of the issues of the Ellis run uh, so that I could give a nice review on a future mini episode. For those who don't know, DV8 spinoff of Gen 13 didn't quite recapture the magic, but it was a nice attempt. Uh, check this out though, Defcon 4, another one of these new image books that people have said was pretty cool, so I'm willing to give it a shot. Uh, and sick with Image. Again, I didn't read a lot of Image in the 90s. Got a lot of catching up to do. So Shattered Image, this huge crossover event. I love this cover, though, where it's a very much an homage to, yeah, Kingdom Come, right? So that's really cool. Uh, plus, you got Kurt Busiek writing it, so I'm sure he was in on the joke. Uh, now, cross-gen comics, something we'll be covering in the future, but Sigil. Hmm, I think I've read, like, Trinity Angels. I think that came from cross-gen, but... Interested to find out what Sigil is about. Now, the last two here were not dollar bin purchases. Uh, Miracle Man, you probably heard that Neil Gaiman is coming back to write some new adventures. But I love the original Alan Moore stuff. I'm only missing a few issues of that run. And so it's cool to get this birth issue. Uh, as you see, it has the warning there. Uh, the little graphic. Something you'd see in a, in a high school, you know, sex ed class. Nothing too big. But then also this right here, issue 13. So uh, just very excited to pick up some comics while on the road to really get in on the excitement of the 4th of July. I hope you're having a great celebration. Glad to check in with you all. And hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, keep your books bagged and boarded.